Hello everyone and welcome to this video on operating systems. Today's goal is to do an in-depth study of operating systems. We'll be covering the topics of what is an operating system and what are the different available operating systems right now. So let's start off with what is an operating system. Well, I want you to recall that an OS is a software that manages the interaction between other software and the hardware itself. So um, let's look at the services that an operating system will provide for you. First, it has a scheduler. Uh, it's a module that schedules the next jobs emitted into the system and chooses the next process to run. So there are a bunch of things that are lined up for the computer and the process processors to uh, look through and execute. But we do need a scheduler that um, optimizes the performance of your computer. So uh, having a great scheduler helps your computer run a lot better. We also have resource management. Anything we do on a computer requires resources for the hardware. Like it needs to be a process, it needs memory and a bunch of other things. So we have a module that allocates the required processing power and memory required for processes and software. Next, we uh, operating system allows us to handle I input and output. I.O. stands for input and output. So both input and output are managed by the OS itself as it is processed. So anytime we look at something on our monitor or anytime we type stuff with our keyboard or click with our mouse, it is handled by the operating system so that our hardware knows what to do based on those events. Um, there are more services that the operating system provides. First is the, first is the graphical user interface, which stands for GUI. It is a user-friendly design that allows a user to interact with the computer with icons, button menus, and displays, and even typed instructions as well. There's also file management. This is where you create folders, where you save your documents, save your pictures and videos throughout the storage of your computer. Next, there are device management. It will manage all the components and peripherals that we connect to a computer. And lastly, there is also automated services for security, network, temperature of our computer, and error handling anytime it runs to an error. So we talked about what the operating system provides. So let's talk about how it all interacts. So then it goes really back to our computational flow of user application operating system and the hardware. So all applications, excluding the firmware that comes with their motherboard, require an operating system to function. So an operating system is very important. So what it what happens is that um, a user when it will interact with an application, then the application sends the instruction request to the operating system. Then the operating system translates those in instructions for the hardware to execute. Then the hardware finally receives the instruction. Then it goes back up to the computational flow, telling them the result. So it will tell the operating system the result, and it will give the application the result, and it will, application will take that data and make it uh, formatted nicely so that the user can read and see uh, what happened after they interacted with the application. So uh, to talk about applications and how they all work, we also have to talk about a process. So a process is an instance of a computer program that is being executed. So it contains the program code and its current activity. And process is also the actual execution of instructions from a program. And several processes can be associated with the same program as well. So anytime we uh, deal with an application, it will have a process. It will have maybe multiple processes working for that application. And that's how it is. Um, and by this uh, process, will have its process and memory allocated within the system as well, all thanks to the operating system. So talking about a process, we can also define what a multitasking is. Multitasking is the... Uh, process where allow uh, multiple processes to share the process around their system resources at once. So that's what an operating system does for us in terms of what it comes with and what it does. So let's talk about the common operating system. Uh, there are three main companies that currently make operating systems at the moment. Uh, we have Windows, which is uh, created by Microsoft. We have Mac OS and iOS, which is created by Apple. And we have Chrome, which is created by Google. Next, we have some open source operating systems. So open source means that it is a software project that is made freely available and may be distributed and modified. And there are two open source operating systems. One first is the Android and second one is a operating system called Linux. And all these different operating systems make up the different shares of the market in both personal computing and mobile world. And I'm sure that you're using one of them right now to watch this video. 
So today we did an in-depth study of what operating systems are and we covered the topics of what is an operating system and what are the different available operating systems as well. So thank you for watching and stay classy.